hello uh welcome back to my channel today i'm doing something a little different i'm doing a little art vlog um so this is a lino block print i've been working on since january um it's really took a long time because you know i work a day job so it takes a while to do these sorts of things um and also because i haven't done this like properly in a decade um, anyway, so what you've been watching here is the process of me, like, taking a drawing from my sketchbook, um, and making a Procreate drawing. Um, you know, it took a while, um, to kind of do, and you'll probably see some flashing around and whatever, because it took a while for me to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, so after I drew all of that out, um, I basically printed out the image and started, um, you know, transferring it to the lino block. Um, I had a lot of trouble tracing and I couldn't remember the technique to, you know, transfer that image. Um, and I couldn't go out, you know, pandemic, um, and find proper, like, I think it's called carbon tracing paper. Um, so I tried a different techniques with some stuff I had lying around, tracing paper, graphite pencil, um, to, to transfer that, um, to, to the lino block. Um, I, I tried a diff few different techniques and, and that I thought would work and they didn't. Um, eventually I settled on, on, on this one. Um, and you'll see here, I also forgot to flip the image. So, you know, for this attempt, um, the technique was right but the, um, the image I printed wasn't, uh, so, you know, um, anyway, eventually I got there, which you'll, you'll see in a bit.
So here is the correct image. Um, it's flipped um, and I've sort of worked out the technique previously so now I'm starting tracing. Um, you know below that image I have the tracing paper that I covered in graphite. Um, so I'm just taking the stylus and going over every single line. Um, this took a while. Um, honestly this, a lot of this process is just going over a bunch of lines I've already gone over. Um, so yeah, but it's honestly kind of meditative. It lets you get, like I like it because you know it lets you get like really acquainted with the image. Um, and if you're doing it sort of all in one go, then you know you're really, you know, really in tune with it. Because I did it over a bunch of months, um, you know, I kind of lost some of that um, after I after I got a little discouraged um, from some stuff that I didn't do quite right or it didn't come out well. Now we're on to making the registration for printing. I did this kind of far before I did any of the carving because I wanted to have it ready. Um, uh, so this is just to make sure your prints line up correctly, um, you know, all of your paper is registered correctly. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing here is making marks on every single um, piece of paper that I'm going to be printing onto. Um, so that every time, you know, I go to print on them, the paper lines up correctly. Um, then I don't have to worry about, oh, is this gonna come out right? It's gonna come out generally okay each time. And, you know, you'll see th they don't come out perfectly, which is okay. I'm just trying to have fun, just trying to play. Um, so I, I also put marks where I would put the lino block itself, um, so I knew where exactly where everything was going. Now we get on to the good stuff. Um, this is where I'm carving out um, the first parts of the lino block. So these are all the parts of the lino block, um, um, sorry, no, of the print that will stay white. Um, and I'm, I'm really no elegant carver. And I, I really let the, um, the cutter get away from me. And then I get little, um, little cuts on my hands. Throughout the months I've been working on this, my hands have been covered in band-aids most of the time, um, from the cutter slipping off the, the line out. <laughs> you know, general rules, you're supposed to carve away from yourself. I do carve away from myself. I'm just clumsy. Um, so I'm bad at following this rule, or, you know, making sure that things don't hurt me. Um, so just be careful. Be careful. Don't be me. Be careful. Um, this is the first, um, so yeah, so as I was saying, this is the first, um, kind of carve out I'm doing, um, when you're doing multiple colors, each time basically you carve out some of the, you carve out the lino for the color that you want to stay of the color you just printed, if that makes sense. Um, so it shows through in the next one. So, you know, if you have highlights that are white, you'll start with carving out the parts that are just white, and then you'll print your color, and then whatever parts of that color you want to show through, you're carving that out of the lino block next. 
printing your next color. Generally you're supposed to go, um, I think, light to dark with your colors, which I think I messed up on at some point in this. Um, so yeah. Now I'm getting set up my registration here so that in theory it doesn't move when I print it. Um, and then, you know, I'll ink up the block um, and, you know, use that barren and my body weight to print. Um, so I don't have a printing press. As you can see, I'm hand printing these. Um, I'm doing this in my bedroom. So this this is sort of the process I have to I have to use in order to do this. Um, so for this, I'm using Speedball um, water soluble Lino Block printing ink. Um, I'm using the blue, yellow, and white to get this first color. Um, throughout the rest of the prints, I use the same type, but with different you know either saturations of the same colors or you know black and white to get the there's a gray in the image that you'll that you'll see um, as the next color printed. Honestly, this part is the most satisfying part to me, mixing the ink um, and the colors, uh, just because it's nice, it's meditative, um, it's kind of hard, mostly because I don't know what I'm doing, really, so, mmm, fun. Um, but yeah, it's just really fun to mix a color, I like mixing colors. Now for inking the block. Um. <laughs>
So now I'm carving the next color, I'm printing the next color, I'm mixing the ink for the next color. Um, it's all the exact same process, just, you know, as I was saying before, carving out the, um, the color that you want to show through um, from the last color you printed. Um, it's, it's easy, it's just kind of hard to wrap your head around but it makes sense when you start doing it. I think it's something you really have to like get in there and try out and do um, in order to really, really understand it and, and you know, get it in your brain that this is, this is how you do it, though, so, yeah. Now here's the second color, and you can see that blue poking through that I had carved out um, from the from the um, the color I printed first.
clue. All right, so. Okay, so I said this a few times, but um, em but editing Emily is going to jump in here. Um, so I printed a whole other color and carved a whole other color um, that I didn't show here. Um, and if I did show that this video would be much longer. I didn't even record it. Um, when I was printing the gray, I f royally messed up. So, um, basically I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna do this. We're not gonna worry about filming it. Um, so we're just jumping straight into the last printed color. Pardon my kind of like super done up makeup look. Um, it's the weekend and I don't have to work so I have like time to do my makeup. Anyways, um, so I'm printing my last color today. I've been putting it off for a couple weeks because I, because the last color I printed didn't really turn out great because I did the colors in the wrong order, I think. Or I mixed it wrong. Honestly, this is like the first time I've done this since, since high school. So, like a proper printy whole process. So I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but you know, I think we're here, we're here to have fun. So, um, the last color I'm printing is black and that's it. Let me show you, um, I'll show you the, uh, show you the last um, sort of lino block print. I won't show you the whole process. Thus far I've shown you a lot of stuff. Um, so beep bop bop. Um, yeah, I'll show you the last sort of like what the last block looks like. And then I'll show you after the finished print. Hopefully it comes out looking cool. It's not exactly how I had imagined it, which is fine. Um, these things happen. We're learning. We're trying. We're having fun. It's 2021. We're doing things. All right, one second. I'll show you the last block. So this is the last block carving. So the all of these spots that are raised will be covered in black ink. Um, let me grab one of the, um, the prints. And you'll see sort of what's gonna happen. And here are some of the prints that I've added thus far. Um, you know, I ran into some issues. Ooh, that one. That one I like. That one's okay. Hopefully, I don't completely mess it up when I do all the black. This one's. Yeah. You know, perhaps I'll get another line of block and some more print printing paper and try another image sometime. All right. So I, I really like how this turned out um, for, you know, first try of printing in a decade. Obviously the colors aren't as saturated as they are in the drawing. Um, I didn't procreate. My focus for this wasn't necessarily getting the colors right, um, you know, as saturated as possible. Um, I was more trying to get comfortable with, you know, techniques since I haven't done this in forever and I'm not doing it in like a classroom where I have all of the materials to do everything. Um, ultimately, I think the cut, the effect I was going for in the coffee pot, you know, with seeing the background through the glass worked, and, you know, I really like it. Um, it's not perfect, but I think I was able to really work with the medium and work on my technique and figure, figure some stuff out. Um, so yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Um, like, subscribe, and... I'll see you next time, maybe for something new, maybe for some art stuff. Who's to say? We're mixing it up. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be different. Alright.